it represents one of their biggest threats to global health. And um, I think it's, it's unthinkable that one day diseases like malaria or other common infectious diseases will no longer be treatable. Artemisinin-based combination therapies, also known as ADCs, are recommended by WHO as a first-line treatment, and they've been used for two decades with great success. Despite this, there is evidence of resistance to ACTs in Southeast Asia and partial resistance in Africa. ACTs are still effective as long as there's no resistance to the partner drug. And that's why it's so important to act now to mitigate the emergence and spread of resistance before it becomes a real issue. The good news is that there are several things that we could be doing and many of them involve exposing the parasites to more than one drug to make it harder for them to develop resistance. One intervention is that of multiple first-line treatments in which multiple drugs are used either in parallel or in rotation to reduce pressure on a single partner drug. Another intervention in advanced development is that of the triple ACT combinations in which artemisinin is partnered with two drugs instead of one. And finally, blocking transmission of the malaria parasite is a key opportunity. And this involves using a single low dose of primaquin together with an ACT. And a few countries are already doing this, but there is lots of opportunity to expand. By using all those preventive tools to uh, prevent malaria, we'll be decreasing the number of cases of malaria and therefore decreasing the need for using those drugs. I think that in the long term, uh, what is essential is to secure enough funding for uh, research and development um, to enable the discovery and the development of new treatments new therapies devoid of artemisinin. The reason for that is that currently we observe a, a, a rise of uh, artemisinin resistance in Africa. To tackle anti-malarial drug resistance and save lives, we need continued support for malaria R&D. We also need uh, collaboration from a more diverse set of stakeholders, including governments, pharmaceutical companies, and research organizations in malaria endemic countries and around the world. Thank you.